Hi, I'm Mr. Mouse, and today we're going through a functional skills level two exam style question. This is a non calculator question. Okay, question one is split into two sections. A is work out 700 minus 7 squared. So this is a test to show that you know the order of operations and that you can do column subtraction which with zeros in the top part. So this is quite a nice easy one. It's a two pointer so you've got to show all you're working out to get, don't just put the answer. And the B section is just to show that you know how to find the mode average. And if you've watched one of my previous videos, you'll know that the mode is the most. So the mode is the number that appears the most. First, let's do part A. Seven squared, and if you know your square numbers, that is equals seven times seven. So that would equal 49. If you know your order of operations, you know that you'd have to do your multiplication first before you do your subtraction. So now we have 700 hundred minus 49 okay so this really part of the test is to show that you know how to do column subtraction with zeros in the top number so this is what we do so you can't take 9 away from 0 so you move to the next column but that's a 0 as well so you have to move to the 7 cross that out and make that a 6 making the 0 above the 4 a 10 and then you have to cross that out and make it a 9 and place the one next to the 0 above the 9 and then we can do our calculation 10 minus 9 equals 1 9 minus 4 equals 5 and then we just bring the 6 down and there's our answer so our answer is 651 Well done. Now let's go on to the next question. Okay, so as, I, as I've previously said, the next question is finding the mode average. And as we know, the mode is the number that appears the most. So it's all, actually, it's probably good practice if you write this down. It's only a one mark question. You're only after the answer, but you could show the examiner that you know what you're doing. So the mode, mode equals number that appears the most. Now let's go through these numbers. We've got a 29, 31, and a 46, and a 43. There's another 29 there, so there's two of those. There's another 31, there's two of those. There's a 38, there's a 34, there's another 43, there's a 35 and another 43. So if you look, there's three 43s. So your answer to this question is 43. I've been Mr. Maths. Please like and subscribe.